Hi students, uh, this is Mr. Lee here and today I'm going to do an online video on our chapter 12 Geometrical Constructions So in this topic of Geometrical Constructions basically you have to know some equipment of the mathematical tools first so today, in this video, I'm going to introduce to you this, which is known as a protractor. So how do we use the protractor? What's the main purpose of a protractor? So mainly the main purpose of a protractor is... to measure anger. So how do we exactly use a protractor to measure anger? So let me bring you along with this protractor. Right over here you can see there are four angles. Okay, angles are actually bounded by two lines such as this, with this arc here, 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 and here. So how do we find the angle of angle A? So how we can use a protractor? Take a look at how am I going to do it. Let me zoom in, show you. Okay, so in this angle A, you can see that how am I going to find the angle using this protractor? As you can see, in this on this protractor, there are many lines. All right, there are many lines over here. So the main line that you have to take note of is over here, this flat line with this center dot over here. This is the main line for measurement, not over here at the outside. So it's the one inside. So what I'm going to do here, take a look at this dot over here. This is the intersection point whereby I am going to put that onto the angle itself. So over here, angle A, the angle is over here and there's intersection at this point here. This is the point here. I am going to put the center of this protractor over here and take a look, this line here crosses onto the protractor line and I just read from 0, if it starts from here, I read from 0 up to 60 so therefore the angle here is 60 degrees next Angle B. So this is the point where the angle is at. So therefore, I'm going to put my dot, the intersection on this cross, and arranging the line at the side here over onto this line. So let's take a look. Let's zoom in to see what's the angle. You can see the angle over here. Alright, I'm going to read off the angle off here. And the angle would be over here is 125, 126, 127. And this would therefore be 128. Okay, how about this angle over here? Over here, you can see that this line is not horizontal. So what I'm going to do with my protractor, I'm going to slant it such that I get angle over here. And rid of the value, I get 30 degrees. And lastly, for part angle D, you realize that when I put my protractor over here, there's no line protruding at the ends. So in this such cases, what you're going to do is you'll be taking a ruler and you're going to draw a straight line extending this line. You extend it. Make sure when you extend it, it is straight and it's not. Okay, you extend it. So once you extend it, you can use a protractor now to make the measurements. After making the measurements, I get the answer of 
I read from 0 all the way until 60 and therefore the angle here is 60 degrees